We gather today to reflect on and celebrate the life of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a man of peace. We gather at a time of tension and division in our nation as we move with hope and prayer towards a peaceful transition of power. We gather wearied by the pandemic, which has taken so many lives, strained our medical and economic systems, and made gatherings such as this rare and challenging. At times, we feel overwhelmed as we face forces of oppression and sickness, of violence and destruction, it is tempting to despair and to fear that our work and our faith amount to nothing. Dr. King reminds us that with love and faith, one person can change the world. And united with a shared vision, we might realize that day when justice will surge like waters and righteousness like an unfailing stream. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Let justice surge like waters, and righteousness like an unfailing stream. Days are coming when the one who plows shall overtake the one who reaps, and the vintager, the sower of the seed. The mountains shall drip with the juice of grapes, and all the hills shall run with it. I will restore my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them. The Lord, your God, has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Let love be sincere, hate what is evil, Hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be concerned for what is noble in the sight of all. If possible, on your part, live in peace with all. Beloved, do not look for revenge but leave room for the wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Rather, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will be heaping burning coals upon his head. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hello, my name is Alfonso Faltz, and I am a junior at Mount St. Joseph High School. The United States of America is supposedly a country that is united and wants what's the best for all. It is clear that from the events over this past year, starting from the BLM protests to the protests on Capitol Hill, we are divided. I say this because it seems we have forgotten the value of respect and how to properly come together as a society to do what's best for our nation. I believe that America is a great country with a lot of opportunities, but we do have a lot of flaws that tend to be ignored. We, the people of the United States of America, have to come together as one nation to fix those flaws. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for civil rights alongside many other civil rights activists. Through his words and actions, he demonstrated the acts of love, faith, and respect. Dr. King believed in unity. By speaking out respectfully regarding the issues at hand, 
he and so many other activists are able to change the hearts of our people. Every single one of us has a voice that can help change our world for the better. Our words have power, but it's up to all of us to do our part by speaking up. There are two Bible verses I would like to share with you. One from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament. Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 27 states, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, or the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. If we, were, if we are all created in the image and likeness of God, why do we have the nerve to criticize our own brothers and sisters? We have no reason to do that because God created you and me. We're perfect just the way we are because God made us in his own likeness and his own image. In Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, he states, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. As Dr. King said, America needs to rise and live out the true meaning of its creed by coming together as one and doing what's right. John John chapter 7, verse 24 states, Stop judging by mere appearances, but instead, judge correctly. When I read this verse, I thought of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, when he says, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Before judging someone for what they look like, try getting to know them for who they are first, because looks can be deceiving. Dr. King was a firm believer in Christ, and I believe that God was in his favor. I know God will lead us in the right direction, just as he led Moses out of Egypt. All we have to do is just seek him. We also have to make him our number one priority. We can't let our egos get the best of us, because when we do, we lose sight of God's will. God will keep us in the palm of his hand, and he will bring us peace. Dr. King was not only a leader, but a hero. His legacy will live with us forever. Unfortunately, his dream has not come true. But if we choose to keep God first in our lives and choose to love our brothers and sisters, then we can make the world a better place and turn Dr. King's dream into a reality. The Anti-Defamation League, which awarded MSJ its No Place for Hate recognition this past fall, reminds us that we all have a role to play in combating hatred and racism, and in building bridges that unite, not walls that divide. To that end, the ADL urges each of us to speak out against prejudice and bigotry, wherever and however they manifest, and to continue the courageous and holy work of making Dr. King's dream a reality in our world. How will you respond? You may recall signing these affirmations previously in your theology classes. I will seek to gain understanding of those who are different from me. I will speak out against prejudice and discrimination. I will reach out to support those who are targets of hate. I will promote respect for people and help foster a prejudice-free school. I believe that one person can make a difference and that no person can be an innocent bystander when it comes to opposing hate. I recognize that respecting individual dignity, achieving equality, and promoting intergroup harmony are the responsibilities of all students. Let us keep these affirmations close to our hearts as we continue throughout this school year. When Dr. King accepted the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, he wrote about his abiding faith in America and his deep faith in the future of mankind. We'll close using an adaptation of his words as our prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I refuse to believe 
that we are unable to influence the events which surround us. I refuse to believe that we are so bound to racism and war that peace, brotherhood, and sisterhood are not possible. I believe that there is an urgent need for people to overcome oppression and violence without resorting to violence and oppression. I believe that we need to discover a way to live together in peace, a way which rejects revenge, aggression, and retaliation. The foundation of this way is love. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. I believe that right temporarily defeated is stronger than evil triumphant. I believe that what self-centered people have torn down, other centered people can build up. I believe that brokenness can be healed and the lion and the lamb shall lie down together and everyone will sit under their own vine and fig tree and none shall be afraid. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Star is cast. 